Carol from Be Inspired. So we have our lunchtime live. We have a fun grandma and me uh, garden art craft that we're gonna do today. So if you have your grandkids this weekend, this is the craft for you. So as you're hopping on, say hi, let me know where you're from. I'm gonna wait for a couple of you guys to pop on. So Facebook takes a little bit. Hopefully you guys got the, um, the text. Let's see, this is gonna work. <laughs> it's always something, always something. Who can I say hello to? We have Linda on, let me get my thing on here. So let me see if I can, if it will let me. Yes, it will, there we go. There we go, right there, let me pin that. I'm not gonna let me pin. Hey everybody, how are you guys? I see Sherry popping on and Linda popping on. See if it's gonna let me do it. Come on, Facebook. Ugh. There we go. Hello. Okay. Now I'm happy. <laughs> ah, technology. I tell you. So, all you ladies popping on. Happy to see you this Friday. This week has gone by fast. So we have a fun craft tonight. I'm gonna see it tonight. Today. <laughs> It's a grandma and me craft. So, hey April and Denise and Kathy and Shannon, all of you guys popping on. I did pin our website to the bottom, so I'm gonna talk about that uh, later. Hey Allison. Oh good, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the lunchtime lives. I really am, I love the break, I do. Um, so this is gonna be fun. So this is a super, <laughs> super easy craft. But I know a lot of you ladies love to craft with your granddaughters or grandsons. Um, I know we have Sheila Stubbs, she's been watching forever, and she shares her granddaughter's craft. So Liv and Molly, if you're watching, hello. Um, and I, it just warms my heart to know that we are doing something and then you're gonna have that time with your grandkids. And so this is what this craft is about. It's gonna be something super cute that you can put in your yard because um, obviously spring is around the corner and we're all gonna wanna get into that spring fever. So, <laughs> hey Birdie, hey Yvonne. Okay, so this craft is super, super easy, but all you're going to need is bottle caps. Okay, if you have bottle caps, you're ahead of the game. So you can recycle them. But if you don't have them, <laughs> Amazon has you covered. <laughs> you can buy them. <laughs> we actually did a craft in our uh, DIY club months ago, and um, we used bottle caps. So that's what my are, are the leftovers, which these are silver. And I'll talk about some other options you can get. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Barbara Brown. And Donna, and then you just need paint colors. So whatever colors you're gonna go with. What I will tell you when I did um, some of the prep work, when I tried using, and it's strange, but whatever the ingredients is. So I tried using my deco art. And on my initial like silver um, bottle caps, and it wasn't applying, like it kept pulling. But when I use the Waverly, which Waverly is an acrylic paint, but it has some kind of ingredients in there that makes it that chalk finish, it adhered better. So for priming your pieces, because I always say prime them, meaning I like to paint them white to make the, pop, the color pop, I would prime them with the Waverly chalk paint or any kind of chalk paint that you have, chalk kind, because this seemed to pull, and I don't know why, maybe because it was metal. Hey, Christine and Grace. Oh, you guys popping on. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So when I'm at priming, ooh, let me get this out of the way. <laughs> and I will be announcing um, the winner from the other day's uh, gifting. So what I mean by priming is that, okay? So I like to prime them. What do you mean by priming? <laughs> what do you mean by priming? You wanna watch comments? Hey, ladies. You can watch comments. Well, I got a lot of gray hair. No, oh, I huh. don't. <laughs> no. So this is priming. You can go watch comments. Okay, I will look from my phone while I'm working. <laughs> and his lunch hour. I need to work. Bill can answer, but don't you ladies agree? I can answer questions on there. He can. So if you guys have questions and I miss them, Bill sometimes pops on so he can help you. So, or sometimes he wants to ask you guys questions. I just can't see comments. Who is that? Deanna. Deanna. Hey, Deanna. Hello. Hey, Barbara Brown. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, well, yeah. He always says Barbara Brown. Barbara Brown. <laughs> Dawn's on. Oh, I see all the hearts. Who's that, Christine? Yeah, he's working from Christine home today. Lester. Hey, Christine. Okay, get to work. <laughs> okay, so priming meaning this is what they come like, and this is what I like because putting a color on here, it pops better on the white. Now, I will tell you that if you go to our Amazon store, I did find white ones. So you could be ahead of the game and miss this step. But you know what? Keep the kids busy. <laughs> That's how I say it. There's Bill in it says. Okay, so I primed them. I had to do two coats. And I did two coats with the Waverly White. Okay? And... We're making flowers, and they're going to be cute little flowers that you can put in your little flower pots. How cute is that for your grandkids to come over and make these? They're super easy. They're fun. They give you time with your kid, grandkids. I used to love that with my girls when they were little. Um, just hanging out on a Saturday, just having fun. Um, and inexpensive fun, you know. <laughs> Everything, the prices have gone up like the hoopla. I mean, taking your kids out the door cost you 10 bucks. Um, so this is fun where you could get the supplies. You might even already have them. It's really this that you need and a doll. Um, and then you have all your other stuff. Hey, Nancy. Okay. So this pack actually came with 150. So the pin post, just for those that might be new here, um, is the blog and my main website. And main website meaning that's where you'll find everything. You will find the blog, you will find the Amazon link, you will find link to other partners that I work with. Um, oh, I have to tell you, today, 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 we released our paint pop-up for our hippity hoppity paint. Okay, my disclaimer is I am not a fancy painter. I am not, I'm not a painter by trade, but in our club, we do love to paint on canvas. Um, so we paint like this. So I provide the ladies the, the tracer and we paint and we have fun with that. Well, as a bonus for some of you ladies that are, aren't in the club, we're doing a pop-up today. So if you go to that website, you'll see hippity hop, hippity hoppity, you can get all the details. So hopefully you guys join us. Okay, let's get crafty. Ah, good morning. Oh, Christine. Online shopping and glasses. Oh, Walmart and Hobbit. Okay, so you're going to need seven bottle caps for each flower. Okay? One, two, three, seven. So I'm making three. We're just going to have some fun. And if you have questions, we have an amazing group here. Plus, Bill is online helping. See, you have a bunch of beer bottle cap tops. There you go. How perfect is that? How Your kids are going to think, or your grandkids, kids, whatever, are going to think you're a genius. Like, Mom went into the kitchen and got some bottle caps, and we had a fun Saturday. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah. I'm just double checking. And I painted these beforehand because I will tell you, it was a little, again, it's, it's, it's kind of, keeping yourself busy, but it did take two coats to get this um, coated, unless you buy the white ones. And actually, the ladies in the club found yellow ones and pink ones and things like that, but kind of takes the fun out of it. <laughs> you can't paint them. All right, so let's get painting. I thought, I'm gonna keep with the Waverly line, because again, it, the acrylics may work on it now that you don't see the metal, but I'm gonna go with my favorite ballet slipper. Or no, you know what, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna go with some of those spring colors. I love the Royal Fuchsia, we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna go with the Pizzazz Purple. And we're gonna go with my Laguna. Okay, I want bright colors, because this is going in your garden. This is something that you can put in your little pots. I, I don't have a green thumb. Does anybody, do you guys have green thumbs? Because I don't. Oh, thank you, Patches. Hey, Laura. Okay, we're gonna try this out. I originally had different colors picked out. Oh, we're putting those back. <laughs> I'm putting those back. Because I think, I think now that they're primed, these colors are gonna work. I'm hoppity to see, <laughs> that's cute. 
All right. Okay. So let me get some. Oh, my head is on. Thank you. Yes, if you have questions. So again, if you have to prime it, you have to use something. You could use spray paint. If you have primer spray paint, take them outside, spray them outside, um, something like that. And then purple pizzazz. Oh, thanks, Judy. I'm just putting a little in here. See, Yvonne loves to garden. I, I, I don't have, my mother used to garden. Like we used to have a tomato garden. I remember we used to have this big sunflower that would always hit my face when I would come from the garage. Um, we always had pickles and tomatoes and cute, not pickles, cucumbers. Um, and we would have all that stuff. And I just, <laughs> I didn't get that. I could, I could probably kill a plant just looking at it. <laughs> Billy Joe loves the garden. Bill wants to know, how's the weather? Let them know where you're at. Okay, so let's paint. I'm going to just take some of these and we're going to, oops, I'm going to get some gloves on. We're going out tonight. And thanks for spreading the honey. I appreciate it. Oh, and I will announce, um, at the end of this video, I'll announce our gifting winner from our um, flower bunny that we did the other day, which Jody, if you're on, so Jody, the joke in the club is that Bill's mom, we always try to gift her things and she just doesn't have the same style. So they were over yesterday for dinner and I have that hippity hop, which you guys loved, I loved. And she was leaving and I said, oh, I said, how do you like this? And she's like, <laughs> So, so needless to say, she did not get that as a gift. Barbara says it's 56 in North um, Carolina. That's pretty good weather. Okay, look how cute. It's just a bottle cap with pink color, but it's cute. Um, so see, with the primer, it makes your color pop. I teach you that too when we do our paintings. Um, if you just put it on the canvas, sometimes it just doesn't do it justice. But if you do a white primer, it makes a difference. Billy's got sunny 80 degrees. We have beautiful weather. Hey, Janice. Oh, you're starting to plant patches? Yeah, we don't have much of a yard here, but Bill did buy me a plant that is like in the front of the house. And it's really pretty. 70s in Kansas City. So again, real simple craft that you can do with your grandkids. They're going to have so much fun. They can't mess it up. I mean, you're going to pretty much um, paint. Actually, I'm going to put the other one together before I paint. Maybe that'll be faster. 51 in Vegas. Isn't that kind of cool for Vegas? I thought Vegas was warmer. I thought Vegas was more like Chicago. Um, Florida. You guys got some. So everybody's got the spring fever. I'm sure once you have that, that warmer weather, it's like, oh, there you go. Okay. So you'll notice that it kind of, it's going to definitely need two coats on the top, okay? Because you can kind of see it streaking, but that's okay because a flower has variation in color. Sometimes you have a light spot, a dark spot. So I'm okay with that. I'm not even gonna bother with it. Look at my hands. <laughs> no worries that you're late. Let me wipe this down because we're gonna move to the purple one. Oh, not Vegas, we're eight hours away. Oh, Sheila says Hopi. <laughs> oh, big so Sheila's daughters or granddaughters, Molly and Liv, they like to get dirty. <laughs> Kids are different. They're not going to wear the, the gloves. Um, but I just got a manicure this week, so I'm trying to keep it, <laughs> trying to keep it clean. Hey, Kathy. Kathy, I know you have lots of grandchildren that would love this. Hi from Ireland, welcome. If you're new to the page, I would love for you to give us a follow. 
Um, we do a lot of DIYs here. We do have a blog that is the pin post. So a lot of what I do here does eventually get on the blog and then you can get all your supply lists. So the bottle caps that I'm using are not ones I collected. Um, so they're ones I purchased from Amazon, but this is a really good like recycle project. So somebody had mentioned earlier, they had some beer bottle caps and things like that. So it's a for perfect, um, perfect craft for this. Oh, somebody had commented about my shirt. It's not, it's not a shirt we carry. It's actually a shirt I got from Rural King. <laughs> we have a Rural King out here and I, we were there and Bill was picking up some fish and stuff and I was like, oh, I think I'm going to go get myself a shirt. Okay. So if you're just joining, it's seven bottle caps per flower. Yes, that's a good idea. Lay them out on the, um, the, what is that called? Shoot. I'm reading your comment. The painter's tape. Yes. Yes. That's perfect. That is perfect. You could use rocks. Yes, you could use rocks as well. Yep. I actually, if you guys have some rocks laying around, um, cause I think it's fun. Like I said, I don't have a green thumb, but I can craft some garden stuff, right? Um, get those cause I will have something coming next week, um, that I think you guys will enjoy as well. Okay. So like, see how the purple is kind of light. So I'm going to dry those up a little bit and then I'm going to put another coat on them. So thanks for hanging out on this Friday. Patches loves getting dirty. I like it to the extent. My nose is running. <laughs> uh, oh, I see somebody just joined the paint party. Welcome. I'll be approving everybody in the private group on Monday. Um, we do have an early bird special right now if you get in before. Um, the party's happening at the end of the month. May, March 29th. Um, and if you can't make the live, the replay will be there. Um, but we have just, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Hello, Rhonda. Oh, Yvonne, first time in Rural King in town. Yes, you loved it. It's a fun place to go. It is. It's kind of got your mix of stuff for the husbands and then stuff for the wives. So, and I didn't know about it till we got here. Um, Bill's dad, he loves that stuff. And the last time we went, was it Rural King? I think we just went a couple days ago. They have chicks, like live chickens. <laughs> and what's crazy is, I don't know where this fear came from, but if my animals are just laying there, my dog and my cat, they're laying there and I like feel like, I always have to check that they're breathing. So we were walking around the little chick thing and uh, there's this little chick in the corner and I'm like, I think the chick is dead. And Bill's like, why do you feel like every animal is dead? And the chick wasn't dead. It was just sleeping. <laughs> oh, Kathy said, I can't wait. Oh, good. Um, okay. Let me clean my brush. Let me wipe my hands a little. Um, so yeah, we would just love to have you in the paint party if you want to do that. It's no pressure. It's virtual. It's super fun. At the... <laughs> Sheila, are you telling Bill? Yeah, he's got something. Okay, so the colors that I'm using are Royal Fuchsia, Purple Pizzazz, and Laguna. Those are the colors that I'm using, um, which are actually some that we've had. Where's my, what am I looking for? <laughs> Let's just get a new brush. <laughs> oh, Patches is going to join. Good. It's a little pop-up. Pop up. Oh my gosh, look at the Laguna. That's fun. And we're going to make these cute. We're actually going to work with, if you guys saw this project, let me grab it. So I made this little bunny butt. <laughs> see how cute it is? Um, and you see the texture on the bunny's bottom? Um, and this is a pre-recorded video. You can find it on the page. We used puff um puffy paint 
So I think I'm going to kind of play around with it here too. So I like to, if I'm going to tell you guys, hey, we're doing your craft, I like to use um, the items like in another project because, you know, you don't want to just use it once and not use it again. And, and sometimes that happens. I mean, that that's a fact. Um, but if you can use it on another project, why not? Yeah, aren't the colors great? I love them. So really springy, super fun. The kids um, can customize them. I mean, if they wanted to, they could do different colors for each petal. Uh, just a whole bunch of ideas. Hey, Maria. So it's just fun. And like I said, it's it, it kind of, and it's a perfect project you could do outside. I mean, if you have a patio table, I mean, that'd be, yeah. <laughs> just, A little too much going on. Too much talking. Um, you can sit outside and do. Um, so, yeah. I love that time. We're, paint, we're making flowers that you can put in your little flower pots in your garden. It's a craft that I want to call like a grandma and me like a little crafting party with your grandkids um because you can't that's you know that's the stuff that they're they're gonna remember i always say that you know they're it's the time that they get to spend with you um not so much how much you spend on them so um that's why i love this <laughs> My honey making you guys laugh in the comments. Okay. Yeah, we're going. Today's our Friday. Or today's our Friday. It is Friday. Um, we're going out later. We got a date night. So I'm excited about that. So much stuff happening here. I'm gonna do two coats. <laughs> I see all the hearts. Yay! Thank you. <clears throat> Oh, lots of hearts. <laughs> I'm trying. What's so funny is I'm trying to wipe my hands so I don't get paint over this. Mm, that's a joke because eventually it will be all painted. <laughs> all right. I'm putting my second coat. So if you're just joining, these are bottle caps that I got from Amazon. And they came in the color silver. I, um, I may need new gloves, but. I painted them, <coughs> excuse me, they start off like this. You can get a whole bunch of them on Amazon. And so I painted them white uh, with the Waverly White Chalk, and then now I put the color on it to make it pop. Okay, so let's, of course, my glue gun isn't, uh, let me get my, let me get my other battery. Talk amongst yourselves. And we're good on time, right? We good on time? I think we are. I have an hour. That's it. <laughs> All right. We're going to wait for these to dry. Yeah. Always crafted with grandkids. Now grades. Yeah. Kathy has great grandchildren. It's so fun. I always try to do that with the girls. Okay. Let me dry these. Thanks for all the hearts. And it's inexpensive. Like I said, if you had bottle caps, you could use them. But these bottle caps um, from Amazon, I think, to be honest, I think they were $8 for $1.50. If you get the white ones, you don't have to prime them. Um, they're already primed for you. Oh, Bill's got a question of the day, right? You guys don't remember? We used to do that. That was always fun. Let's see what he comes up with. Chris is like, yes! <laughs> hey, Sherry! Alright, I'm just drying these. Okay. Thanks, guys. Let me put this over here. Maybe that'll be easier. Hey, Sherry! Okay, so these are dowel rods 
And um, I'll give you some tips because this is going to go outside and what's the best way that you can preserve them. Oh, thanks, Darla or Darlene. So these are dowel rods. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them at most craft stores. Um, mine are, just to give you an idea, they're 12 inches long, okay? And we're making three flowers. So what I did, there's different. You can, um, you don't have to paint yours. You can leave yours natural. Um, I did paint mine in the color fern. So that's the really deep green color. But again, do it whatever you want. <laughs> um, you can put polka dots on these. You can do whatever you want. It's your craft. Yeah, we missed that uh, question of the day. Okay, Bill's question. What is your favorite romantic comedy movie? That was his question of the day. What is your favorite um, romantic comedy movie? Oh, people are dancing, dirty dancing, Groundhog Day. <laughs> oh. Lex is uh, talking. Okay, so paint those, pretty woman. That's mine. Um, all right. So now, okay, here's something I did. I painted all of them. Does anybody see what I did? But we'll make it work because we're going to do it with the puffy paint. So we'll see. So I've got seven, seven of them and seven of them. Right? Yeah. They're going to be super cute. Pretty woman. Footloose. I forgot about footloose. Okay, so you see these centers? I painted them the same color as the flower, but reality, that's like the inside of the flower. So I'm gonna make mine black to make them kind of pop. Black and I might do white on one of them. So this is puffy paint. If you've never worked with it, um, actually we're going to glue them together before we do that. Because puffy paint takes a little bit. Okay, so to paint them, you're gonna move them down here. Can you guys see me? Yeah. To paint them, you're putting the glue on the reverse side. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that they're all touching, okay? So your circle is all touching. Let me get my camera down. Holiday. Oh, richer or poorer. So flip them over, okay? And then get them all touching. And then you're gonna make your little flower. How easy is this? And the hot glue, I know, use low temperature if anything. And I will tell you, if they're outside, personally, I would use the combination of E6000 which is right here okay combination of e6000 so that's like something you could have the kids do let the kids do the e6000 and then you come behind them and do the hot glue and then tell them not to touch it don't let them burn themselves with the hot glue so i would have them they feel like they're a part of it so they'll go ahead and put the e6000 on there and then grandma comes behind them and does it <laughs> that's drinking a lot of beer right Oh, to have that many. Okay, so all you're going to do is take your E6000, you're going to just, oops, get it on your piece, which actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little, get a little, because E6000 is really thick, so let me get a little stick. Hey, Brenda. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna just put a little E6000 on here and I'm gonna rub it in between here. Okay. So you're getting it wherever it's joining. And it'll all stick together once you start getting it on there. It'll come, it'll come together. But it gives the kids something to do, so they know that they're a part of it. They painted it, now they're doing Overboard. Oh, I love that movie too. I love Goldie Hawn. Get that on there. Okay. 
Where did you get the key for the glue? Amazon. Amazon. Okay. So it's a bit, it looks like a big hot mess, but don't worry. You're gonna, you'll be fine. And if it takes me too long, I'll just do two and not all of them. Okay. So don't lose. watching the comments we said great point oh you used to make that's a cool idea i've never heard of that okay so like i said let the, the grandkids do the e6000 because it's not hot and then you can come behind them and do the hot glue plus the e6000 helps with it being outside because sometimes um you know the hot sun or the elements don't you know, hot glue is like, nope, ain't, ain't happening. Okay. Get those all together. Let that sit. We're good on time, right? Amazon, yeah. It's always Amazon. I'm just, basically, you're just touching it. That's what you're doing. You're getting them together and touching them. And then, they get on your fingers. Mm, that's just the name of the game. Yes, we're making bottle cap flowers. Yes, Brenda. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. It's kind of a grandma and me kind of weekend. So if you have your grandkids this weekend and you want to keep them busy, this is a perfect project for them because they can um, decorate and then you could put them in your flower pot. There's just a sense of accomplishment, I think, um, when kids see that, when they see their projects finished um, and displayed, I mean, that, that's always been the thing. I mean, how many of us, you know, what did your refrigerators look like when they were growing up, you know? Um, and I'm sure as grandparents, it's the same thing. So I actually just became a great aunt. Um, my niece had a beautiful baby girl um, a few days ago. And she's like that baby that you're like, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> she's so cute already. <laughs> so it's always fun. Oh, that's perfect, Sheila. That That's a great idea, too. Some of you might be getting your grandkids for spring break. Um, you know, mom and dad need a break. They send them to grandma's. <laughs> so... All right, just still gluing. Love to include the grandkids in doing things. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes it's hard to keep them busy, you know? They always want to do the things or they want to be on their, I, I get it, they want to be on their phones or on their things, but sometimes it's nice to step away and um, and do crafts with them and, and spend that time with them. Okay. So. And I'm doing this in real time so you could see, oops. <laughs> you can see how I stick my fingers together. <laughs> uh, real life people, real life. Happy lunchtime, Holly. Okay. That one's a little hot mess. Okay, we're good, we're good. Spreading the honey. Thank you. All right. We're going to do one more. Yeah, might as well. We have it done. And it's a pretty color. And this one, actually, to save time, I'm just going to do the hot glue. I was really showing you E6000 should be done on all of them. Um, and, it again, it would allow your grandkids to put them together, but not necessarily have to use the hot glue. So the hot glue, I'm just putting it through where they're meeting. Because you don't want the hot glue to show up front. We'll see how it looks once we're, we're done. But you're kind of just crisscrossing it wherever it's meeting. You guys see that? So just make sure you're taking your hot glue. And I'm just going over, over, like one to the other. Yep, 
fun. Thanks for hanging out. And if you spread the honey, I so appreciate that. Um, it helps us get back out into Facebook world. Um, and it makes it us seen by others. Oh, thank you, Sheila. You are so real. Thank you. Uh, no, it doesn't. The E6000 doesn't hurt your skin. It really, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt mine. And unless you're sensitive to it, for some reason, there's an ingredient in there. But I don't, um, I don't have a problem with it. Okay, so I'm going to, these are pretty light. So it's not like you need glue overload, but definitely put enough on there. Um, and I'm trying to be patient. Sometimes I'm not. And this one I'm just putting more because I don't have any E6000 on there. Okay. Let's have some fun. Oh, yes. The text messaging is cool. Okay. So when you pick it up, I know it looks like nothing yet. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, just make sure like right here, it didn't touch it enough. I'm going to go in there. Get that one on there. This one I'm missing. So when before you pick it up, just make sure that they're stuck together, okay? And then you're gonna take your dowel rod and I'm just putting it wherever it's gonna touch. The more glue, obviously, the better, okay? So it's touching right there and then I'm gonna go and have it like crisscross around here, okay? So that's the assembly part of it. <laughs> and uh, we still have fun because we got to still decorate them. That's not it. That's the fun part of it. So let me get right here. Make sure my glue is on. These are so sweet. Thanks for hanging out. So I'm going to just put my glue on here and get stuck to my center. And then just glue. That's it. You just want to make sure it stays. Have you ever used a hot glue gorilla glue? Yes. So these are hot glue gor gorilla sticks. Yep. In my Ryobi. That's what these are. And that's the only one I really use. Um, and it's Amazon. So. Oops. Um, I like the longer ones though. The shorter ones seem like how fast they went. Okay. So see how you're just putting them together. Thanks for watching everybody. Kim just came on. Okay. Look how cute. I want to show you how to make leaves. Are we good on time? I feel like I've been back here for a while. Okay, let's make sure. I'm going to let these dry a little more. So actually, I'm going to let these dry before we do it. So let's we'll do this really quick. So that's what I was going to show you. When we're all said and done, the best way to protect them is going to be using a poly acrylic. Um, this is a water-based one. I like it. I personally like to spray it versus brushes on. Sometimes I brush it on, sometimes they fall apart, they do whatever. So here, if you just, once they're all done, take them outside and then put this on there so that you could preserve them, okay? Let me put this. So, I thought what would be cute for the leaves? And we're still decorating them, so don't go anywhere. Oh, good, thank you. <laughs> I got 20 minutes. Um, Oh, we missed you too, Kirsten. So what I thought are this these famous cookie sheets. You get them from Dollar Tree, okay? And I'm just going to I'm going to just cut out a couple leaves. I'm freehanding it. Nothing special. You can use. Um, I'm trying to think of like material that wouldn't like fall apart outside. Um, you probably could use felt or something like that. Um, but if you guys have some more ideas, tell me. Do you still have 
the RV. We do, but we're in the process of selling it. So it is on the market. It is on the market. Okay. <laughs> I'm making little teepees, like, like what I'm doing. I'm like cutting and I'm like, oh. okay, I'm trying to make leaves. <laughs> but leaves aren't perfect, so you can make them. But for a buck, so pick these up too. Or tell me what you guys think. What would be a good, because that's what I love about here, is that you guys give ideas too. What would be another good alternative for leaves? So let's say you don't have the Dollar Tree um, cookie sheet. And you don't have a Dollar Tree near you. One, two, three, four. What else is a good alternative? Yes, perfect. Yep. Okay, let me cut one more off. One more out of here. Okay. okay. Sorry, my nose is running. Foil, that's a good idea. Sheila, yes. Foil is a good idea. Okay. So, let's flip these over. We're still going to decorate them. Look how cute. Look how cute. Uh, you got your little strings all over the place. Okay, so this is the fun part. Let's get the strings off. Those grandkids are not going to love this. Super easy. Plastic leaves, yes. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to put the leaves on. So the way that I'm thinking the leaves are going to be attached um is i was going to wrap them around let's see how was i gonna do that yeah like that so i was gonna wrap them so it had more coverage eh, okay if it's around the uh the stem and be careful metal and hot glue can be hot it can get hot That. Let's get a little one on here. Poster board, that's a good idea. Yep. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just taking my hot glue and I'm wrapping. They can be wonky. They can be wonky. Little leaves. Like I said, maybe there's an easier way. Maybe I should be wrapping them the other way. I don't know. Plastic milk. Oh, that's a good idea. That was a little big. Thanks for hanging out. Lots of you ladies on. bottle top and bend the two sides together bottle top two sides together oh put them like this oh yeah you could have done that too that's a cute idea so basically i'm sorry i didn't catch your name she's saying don't put the stick on this one just take the bottle caps and then you can make them two-sided that's a really cute idea really cute see that's what i love we don't sometimes you, i don't think of that stuff but this way, yeah, this way you'll have two-sided flowers versus one-sided flowers. I'm thinking they're going to be like in a, like a flower pot of some sort or in your garden. Oh, uh, welcome everybody. Okay. Let's get that. Somebody said, what about wood biscuits? You could put wood biscuits on there for leaves, too. Oh, yeah. Let me see. I got one up yeah, here. Yeah, that's what somebody said. I don't think you caught the comment. That's what <clears> no, I, I didn't. The biscuits are perfect. The biscuits are perfect. Yeah. The <coughs> biscuits said, are perfect. Be, those might be sharp. 
they're sharp, but they're not that sharp. I mean, okay. they are definitely for kids. You might want to roll the edges a little. Um, oh, that's a good idea. But definitely, yes. I the, like the foil, the pan, only because when they're outside, they're going to kind of sparkle and draw attention. Yes. Yeah. That's what's kind of cool. Yep. But yes, the wood biscuits are perfect. Are they're like actually the perfect even size for that? So if you have extra wood biscuits from some of the projects we've done the only here, the reason I said that is because I don't, I didn't think about no. it. So, um, then you can definitely do that. Plastic milk carton. Yep, that's yeah. a good idea. Okay, all right. So we got, like I said, it's just a fun way play with the leaves. Do you know? There's different ways of getting them on here, um, but have fun with it. I kind of like the way that one came out. Yeah, Barbara, she bought the bottle caps from Amazon. Is that Barbara oh, Brown? No. Oh, because <laughs> Barbara Brown, you guys, the ladies in the club should have bottle caps because we did a we did a project last year with it. Somebody okay. said, "What is about the everybody joining something?" Uh, we have a paint party going on, so we have a pop up paint party. We do paint parties where we do them virtually. So we do them in a private Facebook group. I give you all the supplies, the tracer, all the fun stuff. Um, and then you leave the party after making some crafty friends because we have such a ball. We do it via Zoom and the Facebook group. Um, and Bill and I paint together and it's just a fun night. We don't night. give them all the supplies. No, I don't, I don't ship you supplies. I give you a supply list and then the tracers. So it's all virtual and it's in a private group. It's super fun. And we do that through Zoom too, right? Yes. What do you put battery lights wrapped? Oh yeah, Ooh, that would be that's cute. That's a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this puffy paint. Okay, so if you haven't worked with puffy paint, it's puffy paint. It's just, it gives your, your flowers a different uh, dimension. So I'm gonna put a couple in the middle. So it kind of lifts up. Have you ever worked with puffy paint? <laughs> it's so cool because it's not flat. I think it's cute. It's fun. It's fun. Your grandkids are going to love it. And then you could do like a big, okay. And then I got a fun thing I was going to do. I'm going to do one in black. <laughs> Lois, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> and Lois was the first one that commented. Oh, see, what is it with me and opening this? She's not. I'm looking forward to it. So I said, Lois, I'm going to see you later. So thank you. <laughs> I see you. I see you. I think I get a kick out of Bill because he always is Barbara. And he always is Barbara Brown. It's like, it's Barbara. <laughs> Okay, so this is the black. All right, so that's what I love about it. See, it's kind of got that puffy look to it. Um, and then what I thought would be fun, I'm gonna do it with the white. You could do one with polka dots. So you could just take this paint and do little polka dots all over. Look how cute that is. You just lift it up. Now, I will tell you, the puffy paint does take a little bit to dry. So don't seal it or do anything to it until it dries. Mine, when I did the um, bunny bottom, it took a long time. So wait overnight before you put it. Will it dry clear? No, you're right. Thank you, Sheila. It won't. It will dry the color of the paint. And there's different brands and there's different colors. This is puffy and I got it from Walmart. It's 3D, um, but you can definitely do. So then I thought it would be fun. The kids get kicked, I think I get excited. Take your puffy paint and do that. So it looks like, that looks like a cookie. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I see. Like it looks like a cookie. Uh, let me get the other one. And then I thought the black one, the same thing, because I think it's just so fun. <laughs> Adorable, good, I, I'm glad you guys like it. Okay, that's fun, that's fun, that's just fun. I like that, I like that. Actually, we'll do this white and black. That 
that's fun. It's just a fun way of doing it. Um, like I said, there's other brands. So basically, look how cute. So they're adorable. Oh my gosh. I want my grandkids so I can make them. <laughs> but look how cute. Didn't they turn out fun? The colors and everything are like endless. They're endless. Simple, simple, simple. I think that's our like word of the week is simple. Um, oh, super cute and fun. Aren't they fun? They're so fun. I think they're so fun. <laughs> uh, very cute. So like I said, I got you covered for this weekend. You have the grandkids coming for this weekend or spring break. Go on Amazon. If you go to my link, you'll go to my Amazon store. I'll take you right to the um, bottle caps. Pick up. There's 150 of them, and you only need seven per flower. And then while you're there, check the dolls or go to Walmart, get the dolls, figure out what you're going to use for um, your leaves. Super fun. Those are awesome. Oh, good, Darlene. Oh, good, Shauna. Kat is like, I can't wait to do this. You guys saw it. We did it in an hour. It came together perfectly. Oh, I love them. They look so cute. Colleen's loving them. Oh, good. I love all the hearts. So I got your grandma's covered. <laughs> You're going to be a rock star. Um, so, and like I said, they're perfect for your garden. Just go out there, put them in your flower pots. I know lots of you guys are waiting for spring. Um, so it's just a fun way to get into that spirit, um, you know, with it coming. Oh, that's perfect. Rhonda said she's going to do that for Mother's Day. Yes. That was like, drop a heart. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sandra. Adorable. Good. I'm so excited. Or Sunday school. Yes. That's an awesome idea. Perfect. Okay, ladies, that was my lunch hour. I'm going to hop off. I say we because Bill's in the comments. Um, I'm going to pop off and... Uh, Stop getting painted on me. <laughs> um, I'm going to put these, stage them for you, take a photo. Um, I hope it inspired you to spend some time with your family this weekend. Um, those moments are hard to come by these days, so take advantage of it if you have that opportunity. Oh, you're so welcome. And um, I will do the same. I will put these in my little pretend garden out here. We have beautiful weather. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Sticks the kids. Yes, perfect. They look like suckers, right? Um, yeah, you can make a whole bouquet. You can make a whole bouquet like for Mother's Day. Get the grandkids to do it as a gift for mom. Oh my gosh, we could go on and on. Um, okay, ladies, I love you. Have an amazing weekend. I will see you back here on Monday. Get on the texting so I can tell you when I go live and I'm going to go finish off my day. So perfect. Thank you, Norma. All right, bye guys.